Hi guys, welcome back. I know you guys are very fond of baking with me and I love to try new recipes. I'm in no way, shape or form a professional baker, but I do like to just bake at home, it's therapy. It's honestly so fun to do. And also my mum and my sister coming over tomorrow. So I thought, what a better time to make a blueberry and lemon cake. I've never tried this recipe before and anything lemon and blueberry just sings to my soul so yeah let's waste no time and let's jump straight into it i was a little bit intimidated at first because i feel like there's a lot of we have to make the sponge and then we have to make a jam and then a buttercream and okay i don't mind a buttercream but the jam i don't know why i was a bit intimidated but let's start step by step step by step I'll show you what ingredients you need. Basically everything you'd need. So we have flour. I'll link the recipe in the description box, but in general, you need flour, egg whites. I'll crack that open later. Blueberries, lemon juice, melted room temperature butter, sugar, whole milk, lemon zest, sour cream, vanilla, baking powder, and salt. Not that bad, right? First, I'm gonna heat the oven up because otherwise I will forget once I get into the baking portion. I have a fan oven and the recipe is in like Fahrenheit. Who invented Fahrenheit? Like honestly, why can we not have the same measurement of temperature across the globe? So I searched it up. Basically 350 Fahrenheit is 176 Celsius, but I've got a fan oven which is typically more stronger than a generic kind of like gas oven. So I'm gonna think, I'm gonna put it between 170 and 175, I don't know. It's not like I have an exact temperature here, but anyways. That is on. The recipe is for six inch pans and I have eight inch. And it says to double the ingredients if you're using eight inch. So now I have to re-measure. I have to re-measure everything. I think, I think the lemon stuff is fine, but I don't even think I've got enough sour cream. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Actually, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna do three, because it's three layer cake, we're gonna do two. Okay, let's improvise and hope for the best. This is this is what I mean. This is why I can't do like actual baking videos. This is very like vloggish type because I'm no professional. I've got my eight inch pans here. You need to prep these beforehand so that when your batter's ready, you can just pour them right in. I know this is like the most annoying part, but I get some butter and I go like this. Do, 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 do. This is actually the fun part. Painting the butter in the pans. Look at that motion. Satisfying. Do the same on the other side. Make sure you get the sides and the corners, especially the like the dents, so that the cake doesn't get stuck in there. Take some flour, just a dollop, and then just shake it around like so, so that it covers the butter. And then kind of put it on the sides too. Oh. Luckily, it's not boiling hot today because I would be boiling right now this away don't look at my ugly ass covered that's overfilling <laughs> i need to clean up wood job seriously okay first we need to mix i've got my phone here because i'm looking at the recipe <laughs> first we need to mix the wet ingredients actually i need to do the eggs the egg white so let's do that first so i'm gonna just break it all in there ew that just literally squirted everywhere and then we have to kind of scoop the egg white did i just i broke the Egg yolk. Do another one and another one. Make sure your hands are clean, people. It's actually very easy to just scoop it up with your fingers like this. We're gonna take our milk, dollop it in there, put our sour cream. I'm never, I'm not used to baking with these kinds of ingredients. Three tablespoons of lemon. I'm scared this will like curdle. In goes the vanilla, but here's my lemon zest. Look at that. That took ages to Pilates, great. But I think I've got just about one tablespoon. Feels like a lot, you know. And then three tablespoons of lemon juice. One, two, three. A bit, bit more for good luck. There you go, Bloop. My eggs have been here the whole time. You know, even though like, I love my electric whisk, I love recipes where you don't necessarily need it and you can just whisk with your hands. I think this is supposed to be like lumpy. But anyways, whilst I'm saying that, uh, I thought that I didn't need an electric whisk for this recipe, but I do <laughs> later on. So yeah, anyways, this is the first step and 
Is it curdling? I guess it's fine. Anyways, let's put this to the side. Now I have to get the flour and then put the sugar. I don't want to use a different bowl. Baking powder and salt. I'm going to eyeball the salt. One and a half teaspoon. Just eyeballing this. Here's my blueberry, the star of the show. I love baking, but one thing I don't love is the amount of dishes after, because we don't have a dishwasher that's literally the bane of my life. It's all worth it when you see like the beautiful cake, and to be honest, I try to do it whilst the cake is baking. I think this is mixed now. It's a sift the flour, but the flour I bought is already pre-sifted, which is very handy. Half a tablespoon, I'm gonna put two of those in there. Mix these blueberries. Like so. I think this is to help them not like all sink to the bottom of the cake. Oh, this, this does not feel nice. Anyways, they should like look something like that. Almost there, guys. We're almost that wasn't too bad. Anyways, get your bowl, put your butter in, plonk, plonk it in, and we gotta beat this for till it's like creamy. Guys, I didn't even plug it in. I don't have a plug in here, but. Now we can mix it. Okay, then it says to put it on low and to slowly add the dry ingredients in. It, it will get like sandy. This is an arm workout. That looks very sandy. And slowly pour in the wet ingredients. Multitasking. I'm making such a mess. <laughs> oh my God, the smell of this. Wow, it smells amazing. I love lemon cake. Beat for 30 seconds. So it's fluffy. Oh my god, that smells divine. Oh my god. Now we can take our blueberries and fold them in. You can really see that the, the, the batter is like really fluffy and creamy. Just want to make sure that's evenly distributed. And I'm going to pour this in my in my molds. To be honest, I find that when I bake cakes, even when I bake my uh, my like carrot cake that I love to bake, I always do two cake tins, and it's just like more than enough. I think they're even. I don't want them to be really uneven, so I'm just gonna weigh these. Eight oh four. 833, that is good enough for me. I'm just gonna do this. I'm following a preppy kitchen recipe and it was actually him years ago, like during lockdown, when I really started baking and trying his recipes. And he's the one that uh, recommend getting these things. It's basically like you wet them with cold water, they're like fabrics, and you like put them around your tin like this and it just makes sure that it cooks level. And every time I've used this, like I refuse to bake cake without this, because otherwise you'll kind of get like that mountain shape but with these it kind of just comes out relatively fat, flat and really smooth and non-burnt like on the edges. I don't like when the edges are burnt. Are you like, like guys this is such a bad, bad habit that I have but when I eat cake like I never eat the edge. Like do you guys do the same? Unless like I've used this and the edge is like nice and soft but if it's like crusty ass edges like, I don't want it. And most bought cakes have a bunch of icing on the side so and I'm like who actually eats that? I'm actually curious, let me know in the comments. Okay, this can go in now. So we hope for the best. Because I'm using different tins, I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put these in for like 40 minutes. I suppose if you're using six inch, it says 30, but I think 40 would be enough because it's deeper and wider, I think. 
So yeah, I'm gonna do the dishes, clean up, and I'll be back so we can make the jam. Okay, the cakes are now out the oven and they look good. The knife came out clean, so I kept these in for about 37 minutes. And guys, it just looks so lush. If you could just smell through the screen, these smell delish, delicious. Now we just have to make the rest. For this bit, we're gonna need a pan and we're gonna need about one cup of blueberries. I'm gonna wash these. I don't know why these have like the stem in it, it's so annoying. Okay, these are nice and washed. So we're gonna need one tablespoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of sugar. I'm just gonna cook this. It says to cook until like the blueberries start to burst and you have to like simmer it until like it's reduced to half the amount. I'm kind of like squishing them. Gosh, there's actually a lot of water in there. There was barely any liquid in there, now look at it. Okay, this is what it looks like now. I think I can take it out. It's starting to become evening, so the lighting's changing up. I'll take a fine mesh strainer. We'll put this in there. So you just wanna like kind of smush this through the strainer. So it says to chill this. I don't know if I can put this in the freeze fridge. I could literally eat that stuff with a spoon. So now I've got 170 grams of butter and we're gonna whip this until like it becomes really pale. Like I would say like whip this for five minutes and then, then you can get like a really nice white buttercream. If I show you that, it's like nice and pale and white and fluffy. I'm gonna use 360 grams of icing sugar. I halved the buttercream recipe because I don't like it when there's too much buttercream. Luckily, I bought some extra. It's so weird because like when you breathe it in, it, 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 it's like you're breathing in sugar. It's so weird. Do this on low at first. Okay, so it's quite thick because I have to put three tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm going to start off slowly. Just put like one. Okay, so that is... Our buttercream done. I was scared it's gonna to be too lemony with the juice, but it's actually perfect. Cake is gonna be so good. Oh my god. Just put this in the fridge whilst I clean up because the redu this the cake needs to cool down, the reduction needs to cool down. And I don't want this to melt because it's kind of like hot in here. I don't wanna like squish it against the buttercream so it doesn't become like dry. The, everything's cooled down now. I'm gonna take a little bit of buttercream and then I'm gonna take like a tablespoon of the reduction and mix that into the buttercream. I'm gonna get something like that. I don't think I wanna, this is quite, the reduction on its own is quite, like I don't want this in the cake. And I've, I didn't notice that you're supposed to mix it with some buttercream. So this is what the cake looks like on its own. It looks so lush. I'm gonna put just a dollop. Could have done with more buttercream to be honest, but it's gonna be a naked cake, okay? It's looking really good so far. I just want this even. And then we can put, I'm gonna put a layer of this right on top. I made a cake like this. So cool. The second layer. Ooh. I almost broke that. Yeah, this is more than enough. I'm so glad I didn't do more. I'm gonna rinse this. I'm just gonna blob this on the top. I kind of wish that I didn't put this in the fridge because now it's just like too hard. It's too thick to work with. Anyways, right, so we'll just be patient. It's kind of like one of those retro, you know, artisan kind of cakes. Because that is what it's giving right now. I'm gonna do like textures on the top. Blueberries in the center. I'm very happy with that. It's very simple. It's very simple. Okay, so this is the final cake. 
It's very yummy. Okay, let's cut into this. It would have been so nice to have daylight, but it's literally almost 10 right now. So it is what it is. It's only for my mom and my sister, so it doesn't matter if I can try it now. They don't care if it's cut into or not. Ooh, okay, this is what it looks like. The moment of truth, was this worth it? It's literally stunning. I thought I had flopped it because I, I forgot to put cornstarch. There was cornstarch in it. It was only a tablespoon of it, but I just completely forgot. This is gonna be even better when, once it's in the fridge for a bit. But yeah, this is so good. I'm really happy with it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely love it. It's like lemony, but like not overly sweet. And you can get hints of like the blueberry. It's so nice. And the cake batter is like so soft and fluffy. Yeah, it's gonna be even better once it's in the fridge. But anyways, I'm gonna head off. See you guys, bye.